Hi, this is Rubidium for Premium Beat. Today we're going to look at the challenge and opportunity of using windows in your daylight interiors and three ways you can get correct exposure for your interior scene. Nothing sells the realism of a daytime interior like a window that you can see out of. Unfortunately, windows have a big drawback of having usually a far different level outside than inside. So today we're going to look at three ways of treating windows in your daytime interiors to get a more realistic cinematic look. So this is how windows appear naturally when you're lighting a daylight interior at a realistic level. The reason that it looks not very cinematic, it looks a little bit more like video, is because you're having some elements seen and other elements not because the difference in latitude of outside and inside, the difference in exposure, is causing the hot parts of the image to clip. There are a couple of ways we can deal with this. Um, the first way we're going to try is just elevating our interior exposure to match exterior. So now I've increased the brightness level inside, which is causing the camera to clip. But if we put ND on the camera, now it brings everything down and we have a more correctly exposed image. The downside of this is that it's very bright um, and you need bigger lights and you're also kind of affecting performance because you're flooding your actors or your talent with light and it causes them to squint. Everything's going to look like a Western. A better way of doing this is to add neural density or essentially just dark plastic to the window outside bringing the outside levels down according to the camera and allowing us to preserve our interior levels. So now outside on a C stand, we've added a 0.9 ND. What this does is act as sunglasses for the window and takes the level of the outside down to the level of the interior. We can light our scene now like we, uh, like we want and not have to worry about the windows blowing out totally. We can still use all the depth and what's outside to add to our scene. We can even put action out there if we wanted. And really, it just makes a more realistic, um, immersive look. But what if you have windows in your set or in your location, but you don't want to look outside of them? Maybe you're shooting a period piece and outside there's cars and telephone poles, or maybe you just want to use a more evocative, uh, more subjective look. What we're going to do next is use quarter grid cloth on the same C-stand to blow out the window so that you don't see anything and we can use the window as a source of light. So now what we've done is substituted the ND for quarter grid cloth on the same C-stand outside the window. What that's done is allowed us to, you know, blow out the entire outside so we're not seeing anything that might be a distraction or that might hurt the integrity of the story by seeing something that we don't want to. One final step we could do to this is add a light source like a powerful Fresnel or um, a one by one panel to use this quarter grid cloth as a, another source of illumination. So it looks like the bright outside is punching through the window. Spielberg did a lot of this in his Lincoln movie to give a sense of a cold, um, overwhelming outside. Now we've added a light source of illumination to the quarter grid cloth. It actually adds a whole different ambience, a whole different vibe. Now, uh, because we've added the illumination, we could actually potentially shoot like this at nighttime or when the sun's not that strong. So it means it just gives you more freedom as a filmmaker to shoot what you want, where you want. And it is really the kind of my go-to way of treating windows. They are my three main ways of treating windows. One, to ND the window. The second, to increase the interior exposure. And the third way, to diffuse the window and punch light through and act as a source of illumination. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.